There are three common states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. One way that we commonly present the changes between these states of matter is on a states of matter or phase change graph. These graphs show time on the horizontal axis and temperature of the substance on the vertical axis. Regardless of the substances represented on these graphs, all graphs share similarities. As time progresses, heat or energy is continuously added to the substance. There are sections on the graph that represent all three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. These are represented as the slanted portions of these graphs. When substances are in these states of matter, as heat or energy is added, the kinetic energy of the substance will increase. This is shown as an increase in the temperature. While this is happening, the particles or molecules in the substance will be increasing in speed. The horizontal parts of the graph are representative of a change in the state of matter. From solid to liquid is melting, and from a liquid to a gas is evaporation or boiling. While the state of matter is in transition, the temperature remains constant even though heat or energy is still being added to the substance. Instead of increasing the kinetic energy or temperature of the substance, the added energy is affecting the molecular bonds of the substance. In the case of melting, the stronger molecular bonds in the solid are being broken, and following the phase change, the liquid has weaker molecular bonds. The horizontal or phase change portions of the graph also represent equilibrium where two states of matter coexist. For example, at the evaporation portion of the graph, both liquid and gas coexist simultaneously.